Okay, everybody, we're back live with Queen Mother Pamela Smith. She is about to be telling her full story to you all. Just gonna let you all know the very intricate details of her case and all of what happened right here in this building while she was in a work release program. So I'm gonna go live, that way you walk in here from Queen Mother herself, hear the details of her story. You'll hear from General Mike Payne of the original Black Panther Party. You'll hear from Minister Jamal Ali of the Nation of Islam. And you'll also hear from General Nick Bezel of the Elmer Geronimo Pratt Pistol and Rifle Gun Club. should be ashamed of themselves. They, they, they haven't come uh, as long as she's been out here crying for, from the highest mountain, shouting, you know, saying, hey, I, 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 this has happened to me. And they haven't come and, and, and taken her story. They haven't done anything. So, you know, thank you for at least coming. Um, but it has to continue. And we have to press on. And, and she knows dates. She knows uh, all the names, uh, time periods, everything. You know, they've destroyed evidence uh, because it, uh, Last saw shaker had DNA on it. Um, I 
had her fingerprint on it, and they destroyed it. And, and they're all in cahoots. This is uh, this is corruption. And, and we, we charge Oklahoma with corruption. So that, that, that's the point. <coughs> I can see the tears coming in. This is something that really means something to you. It's very, absolutely. It's very clear that this is important to you. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Because this this happens to our, our, our women far too often. Yeah. And, you know, if this would be a Caucasian woman that just, you know, <coughs> even said someone whist whistle at her, you know, or, 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 or whatever, it would burn down the whole place. And, and that's what continue to come out here until that happens. You know, you can keep thinking, oh, this is a one-time thing. It's not. We'll continue to come here. And we'll continue to be a presence until something happens again. The governor's mansion will be here. And if we have to continue to press the federal government, we'll do that as well.
else anybody would like to add? Yes, uh, of course we always let the mother uh, tell the story. Absolutely. Uh, thank you for coming. Oh, for sure, for sure. prison records when I walked out of prison. They destroyed my medical records. They destroyed uh, the doctor's records that he treated me for 10 months for post-traumatic stress. They destroyed everything to call me a liar. When I walked out of prison in September 2000, there was nothing in my prison jacket. Everything was destroyed. They even shut this building down to try to allude that I was never here working or even that I was ever in prison. Destroyed everything. But I thank God for the intake sheet that uh, law enforcement gave me, which was the uh, district attorney gave it to me from the district attorney's office. The intake sheet came from Tim Harris's office to another district attorney, which it was law enforcement gave me the evidence. Uh, for 25 years, I have cried out saying I was raped in the field. Can somebody help me? And the state officials called me a liar. Did you ever call me a dead man? Said all I wanted was money. the elected governor of the state of Oklahoma. I know this didn't happen on your watch, but you have an obligation and responsibility to do what's right. You can't shut your duties just because it didn't happen on your watch. I often wonder if his wife or daughter was raped and it didn't happen on somebody else's watch. Would he want the FBI and other people to help his wife and family? I feel saddened that uh, there were so many young girls that went in here with young girls and they traumatized today. They didn't know how to fight. I'm not to say that I know how to fight. I know how to pray. I know how to believe. Those young girls were traumatized. And their lives have been messed up for life. Because the state officials gave Donald Reed, Drew Emerson and Tim Harris, and uh, uh, Tom Brewer, John Wilford, uh, the district attorney Tim Harris, these people all gave Donald Reed Cochran a license to rape. Mm -hmm. They gave him permission because they had the rapists in their proximity. Mm -hmm. They had the glass off second head DNA, they had the victim. But all this abuse that took place in, in this building, yes, it hurts me to relive this, to be re-traumatized, but I'm not gonna let Donna Reed Cochran, Drew Everson, Tim Harris, and the state officials for me. They wrong for me, and they should be ashamed of themselves. No counter should have to come here and do the job that the state officials should have been. It's never been about money for me, you guys. It's always been about justice. But when I had to file a lawsuit, it was because I asked Tim Harris to help me in 1988 and 1988 before my father. Tim Harris is the one that destroyed the glass salt shaker. It was delivered to him by Lieutenant George Randolph. Lieutenant George Randolph walked in that back storage room, retrieved the glass salt shaker. It had DNA on it. If it didn't have DNA 
on it. The district, uh, Lieutenant George Randolph wouldn't have been taking it to the district attorney's office. He took it for criminal charge. We put on uh, Donna Reed Conference Senior. But the thing is this, and I want to say and stress, the reason why I haven't been able to get criminal charges put on me, Steve Kuzwell, you should be ashamed of yourself too. You are the district attorney, and you were asked the question by this gentleman standing right here, James Johnson, two years or three years ago when you were running for district attorney. If your friend, Tim Harris, proves to be a part of this cover-up, will you put charges on Tim Harris? And you said yes, Steve Kuzwell, the district attorney now. But what I found out, you can't put criminal charges on uh, Tim Harris. Because if you put charges on Donald Reed Cochran, you would have to lock up your friend, Tim Harris. He's the one destroyed the glass house shaker. So the rapists get to get a pass because all of you state officials are in cahoots together on this case. Y'all all have covered up this case and made a mess of it. Y'all tried to take this case. I went to the FBI how many times? Four times? Five times. Begging them. Trent Shaw's office with my brother, with the Nation of Islam took the intake sheet of the glass soft shake and said, here's the evidence. But for 24 years, y'all called me a liar. But now the intake sheet has surfaced that you all knew that y'all destroyed that glass soft shake. But y'all went out of my community and called me names, and called me liars, attacked my character. When all along, y'all knew the truth. It was about money to you guys. It wasn't about justice for Pamela Smith and these other black girls over in this community. We are sick and tired of being black women and being raped and abused. And I cried for all of them this All I want is the state officials to be held accountable. Don, Donna Reed Cochran raped and tortured me and abused me. Drew Edmondson and Tim Harris, J. Kevin Stick, Mike Hunter, uh, the new elected uh, uh, attorney general, and, and all of these state officials that have been a partaker of this massive cover-up. I pray that the feds investigate this case. Somewhere this case has got to stop. It's got to end somewhere. It's not gonna end with me till I get justice, but when are they gonna realize Pam Smith ain't going nowhere? I just want justice. When I get justice, I get justice for my sisters around the world and right here. I was an inmate on a work release program, work raped by a state driver's examiner, not a prison guard, not a trooper, but a state driver's examiner. Donna Reed Cochran, for the record, he was in his uniform, and one day, he came to me and said, I need you to ride with me to the park. I rode with him to O'Brien Park. Now, this was a state driver's exam. He was out there abusing another woman in the presence of me. And I told the state officials all of this, but it did no good. See, they know the truth. The FBI know the truth. The state officials know the truth. All of them know the truth. They just don't know how to fix this. They have lied so much. They done draw other agencies involved in this massive cover up and then they don't know how to fix it. But I thank God that my Panthers and my brothers and sisters are all standing here with me today. They want justice. And my brother with the Nation of Islam and my brother here and my son and all my sisters and brothers, all we want is justice. Mm -hmm. And, and, accountability. Jake, and accountability. Today, Kevin Stead, I have this to say to you today, sir. You're trying to run for governor of the state of Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. You ran against Drew Evanson, and Drew Evanson is the man that gave the order as the attorney general to Tim Harris to destroy the glass salt shaker. Because you're the chief police of the state. The attorney general is the chief police of the state. It's 77 counties in the state of Oklahoma. You dictated to every DA how to run a case in the state of Oklahoma. When you, J. Kevin Stitt, was running against Drew Edmondson, me and this man right here made sure that you beat Drew Edmondson. We made sure that. But you ain't thought, because of the Pellisman case, but you ain't thought enough one time to answer the two letters that Pellisman Smith wrote you, asking you to call in a federal prosecutor. That's all I ask for. But yet you trying to make Oklahoma a top 10 state. Mm. How do you make Oklahoma a top 10 state when you got the worst rape case everybody's reading about around the world? Mm -hmm. Fix this right here. Then we go forward. We can never heal as a community, black and white. We still uh, hurting and grieving over 1921. Right. But then you got this case right here. I'm somebody's mother, I'm somebody's wife, I'm somebody's sister. All we want is justice. All I want is the people to be 
held accountable. That's all I want. I want the people that, that raped me, which is Donna Reed Cochran, and he know he's guilty. Drew Emerson and Tim Hurst tampered and destroyed evidence of struck justice. And then when it lied to the FBI that I was making up this. Take me and do the FBI listen to the state. Shame on the FBI. Justice for Pamela Smith. I appreciate you coming in. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, Jen. I'm still sorry that Jen didn't do that. Thank you. So you knew what's on? I have. I started. Thank you. So I haven't done a whole lot of stories, though. So. <laughs> but if I preach, you got to talk to me. Yeah. All right, you all. There you have it. Queen Mother Pamela Smith telling her story how she was viciously raped and sexually assaulted right here in this building while in a work release program. It's so sad that she has to continue to relive the atrocities that were done to her. But we here with the original Black Panther Party, the Elmer Geronimo, Pratt Pistol and Rifle Gun Club, the Nation of Islam, we're out here trying to get justice for our queen. We're about to march back to Greenwood Cultural Center. Right here in a little bit. But we hope that you all stay tuned to the story. Keep on watching. She's been fighting for a very long time. Keep on watching. Pay attention to the story. We're gonna get our we're gonna get our justice for our queen. Alright, you all.